hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is oops not sure what happened there please try again later so if you're receiving this error with the game on your xbox console then please follow the steps shown in this video so to fix it uh, we can try using the phone so you can install xbox app on your phone and then you can use xbox app on your phone to fix this error so open xbox app on your phone now once you open xbox app at the top right here you can see console icon so tap on it if console is not connected you can just connect it get started and then tap on add an existing console next make sure your console is on now on your console you will see enable option so you have to select the enable option on your xbox console so hit enable on your xbox console now your console is once it is connected now next so in my case it's already connected now now you can find the game and then select the game and then in my case it is already installed so it's giving me launch on option but in your case it will give you an option to install so you can install it using the phone through xbox app now still you are receiving this error then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video if you are trying to install the game on external drive in that case you can try to install the game to the internal drive the drive which came with the xbox console now, if you are already trying to install the game on internal drive and then you are receiving the error, then you can try to install the game on external drive and then check. Now, the first step is to try installing the game from My Games and App. So, go to the home screen. On the top here, you can see My Games and App option. Select My Games and App and then go to Full Library. Here on the left hand side, you can see Full Library select full library once you select full library you will see all your games on the right hand side you can find the game from the list and then you can try to install it from here now it's still not working the next step is to perform power cycle to perform a power cycle now press and hold the power button on your xbox console to turn it off so keep holding it till it's off now you can see it's off now once the xbox console is off now unplug the power cable from the xbox console so unplug the power cable now once it's unplugged now wait for 10 to 15 seconds now after 10 to 15 seconds now plug in the power cable back to the xbox console now once you plug in the power cable now turn on the xbox console and now check now still not working the next step is to clear mac address now press the home button on your controller and then go to profile and then go to settings go to settings and then go to general and then select network settings and then over here go to advanced settings now select alternate mac address and then select clear and then you have to restart your console so your console must, must restart to apply this change so hit restart and then check now still not working in that case you can perform factory reset of your console and you can select the option which says keep my games and app to perform a factory reset of your xbox console go to the home screen and then go to settings and then go to system and then select console info now over here you will see a reset console option so go to reset console now over here on the bottom over here you can see options reset and remove everything reset and keep my 
games and apps. So select the option which says reset and keep my games and apps and proceed with the reset. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.